everybody. Thanks again for tuning in to RPM, Rock and Pop Mandolin, your site, your destination for learning classic rock songs and pop songs on the mandolin. Even a few pop rock Irish songs like this one. This one was done by the Pogues and it's called Dirty Old Town. A really fun song to play on the mandolin and you can really embellish some of the simple chord progressions with some licks and some other patterns that work nicely if you're playing this by yourself or even with a group of musicians. It's a really fun song. My name is Mike Dijon. Thanks again for tuning into this site and thanks for subscribing. We've had many people subscribe to this channel already. If you haven't, please do so by hitting that little red button down there on the lower right corner. It really helps us to continue to grow this channel into something that you can really use to learn pop punk songs or rock songs, classic rock songs, whatever on the mandolin like today's Dirty Old Town. So without further ado, let's dive in to the Pogues' Dirty Old Town. All right, and we've zoomed in for Dirty Old Town. Let's check out that opening riff. It goes. So that little opening melody is played over the following chords just in the introduction. And in fact, this song changes keys three times. So it starts off with D. It goes... Right? You want to get that, that kind of pattern going to G. Okay, so what are those chords? Well, you're starting with the D, and you want to get that. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? You want to do that sort of thing. You want to go. So those chords are D to G to E minor, right? And then from the E minor, they move up to a B minor chord right there. I play the B minor at the fourth fret of the G string, fourth fret of the D string, and fifth fret of the A string. All right, and all the while, while the band is doing that, the harmonica player does this. Right, and he does the, of course, he does a different kind of tremolo on the harmonica, but you can certainly do it with the mandolin by, or, right, really get that, that right hand going. It's really difficult, and it's something that, that I need to practice, and probably many other players need to practice as well. So, what are those notes? Well, starting off with the, over the D chord, you start with an A note. So that's A open or A here, seventh fret of the D string. You can do either way, both are A's. I can play it, I like to play it with the open A. So A, D, E, F sharp. That's where you, you do the little tremolo part. D is the fifth fret of the A string, seventh fret, ninth fret. So from the D again, right, so D, E, F sharp, D, A. So one more time, that first part. Right, something like that. And then from there, from you walk up from the F sharp to the high B note here. So F sharp, A, B. So that's on the top string, the E string, right there, at the seventh fret, F sharp. So once you hit that tremolo button on the B, you walk down from the A, F sharp, to the D, you act at F sharp again, so.
And then here you go. So A, D, F sharp to the E. And that's over that E chord here, the E minor chord. And then you hit this note, which is a D, which is in that B minor chord. Isn't that cool? It's the D right there, the fifth fret of the A string, but it's in your B minor chords. And that's the introduction to this song. Now one thing, well two points I'd like to make here. Number one, that introduction pattern is actually the same pattern you play a little bit later when the song takes a solo in the key of C. And all you do is move that entire pattern down two frets and play it the same way, but over the key of C rather than the key of D. I'll show you that a little bit later. Okay, now we're going to go to the main verses. So after that opening part, what I do is I change the position of my pick. After using the side of the pick for the tremolo part, I change to the pointy end once again. Okay, so there, I'm, I'm embellishing the main part of the song. This isn't really in the real song, but I like playing that because it adds to the uh, melodic interest of, of the song when, we jam it with, uh, when I jam it with one of my musical partners. But you don't have to do that. You can stick to the main chords for the verses, which go, I met my love by the gasworks wall. Right. That's a G chord to a C. those main chords in the verse part I put this little pattern so I'm just walking up from the D E G to the B note so these are all notes that are in the G scale or the G arpeggio because this part of the song is in the key of G so and then I add a little so A B G D walk up to the C right so I go from this note which is the E to G to A right it takes you up to the C chord nice little walk from the G so so that pattern again Right? Those little notes work really nicely over this melody and the G and the C. So then finally I go, I go, I'm going to the D chord next, right? So, so G, A, B, D chord, and then over the E minor. So that's a B, A, E. And finally there's a little solo part. Again, it's a harmonica solo later in the song on the Pogues version. Um, and once again, it's the same, as I said before, it's the same pattern of notes from the beginning, but moved everything just moved down two frets. So instead of starting on that note, we start off on, on the G note here. So start with the G. For, and just walk up to the E. G, C, D, E. So. So the same. Right? And then the same at, again. Go up to that high string, this time from the E note. So you're going up to the A. E, G, A. Then. So he's going G, C, D, E, then, 
So C D E C G, then E G A, then from the G C E, then G G C to the D note, and then he does a little just down to the A note, which you can catch on an A minor chord. All right, and the chords for that solo part, again, this is in the key of C now. So first, the beginning starts in the key of D, the verses are in the key of G, and now this little instrumental solo near the end of the song is in the key of C. And the chords, they all follow a similar pattern, but the chords here are C to, to F, back to C. Then it goes to a G. To an A minor. Then back to the original. The G part in the key of G. So the little solo part where you play is over those chords. C, F, G, and A minor. And that was Dirty Old Town by The Pogues, a song that they actually didn't write. They covered the tune, but they covered it so well that most people think it is one of their originals. A wonderful song to play, really fun song to play with a, a jam session or in your local pub. Anyway, thanks very much for tuning in to RPM Rock and Pop Mandolin. My name is Mike DeJong, and thanks very much for subscribing to this channel. If you haven't yet, please hit that little subscribe button down there in the lower right corner. Once again, we really appreciate all of your support here at RPM Rock and Pop Mandolin.